we know that the percentages are uh, have been historically low uh, among African Americans in research. Um, and let's be honest, there's good reason for that. Um, unfortunately, you know, I think history has, you know, uh, slanted perspectives. And I think that we have to be realistic about that. I think that we have to meet people where they are with that. Um, and I also think that it serves as a teachable moment because once you engage people in those conversations, it's great to be able to say, you know what, we're 40 years beyond Tuskegee. Um, it makes a difference to be able to know confidently that people who seek care and who engage in um, kind of a proactive approach to their own health um, are going to have better health outcomes. And being part of a clinical trial is one of those options. Um, certainly when you know better, you do better. I highly recommend that you do participate in trials. Walk into this with asking questions. And the way to do that is if somebody approaches you and says, listen, we have a study that's coming up and we really need participants. Go home, think about it. Take a piece of paper when you're watching TV or something as, and talk to your family and say, listen, you know, I have an opportunity to participate in this trial. Listen to them because it's probably what they're going to ask you is, well, why would you want to do that? Explain your reasons. And then also ask them their opinion. Well, what do you think? Take those questions, write them down, go back to the clinic and ask whatever questions they are because any question that you have, they will answer it for you. It's like not just having your own primary health care provider, but you have your own private nurse that you can go to, you can ask questions. And I personally found that to be really appealing. Don't be apprehensive and automatically think that there's something sinister about it because that's not true. So I've always had a good experience because people have explained it to me step by step. And Luckily, the nurses and doctors that I have interacted with have almost walked with you hand in hand all along the way. A lot of the publicity things that are out there about trials right now don't look like me. So they need, people need to see people that look like them, number one, in order for them to believe that this trial, that trials are good for us. And then they also need to see that they really do work. And by me having gone through the process and having talked with other people that have gone through the process, I'm hoping that they believe me when I tell them that it works. And you just, as long as you do your research, as long as you do your part of it, you know, and then talk with the doctors, it, it's a good thing to do. It's just, it's just the right thing to do. I think it's quite selfish for people not to even think about a clinical trial. We all have this disease and we all want to help and I know for a fact that there are some medications that work better on Caucasians. So for African Americans not to be involved in a clinical trial to advance research for, for other African Americans that are out there, I think that's selfish. It is research. And we are never going to find any type of cure from this disease of this disease unless we get involved in the research we have to get involved in order to get ahead you know what safer environment could there be than a clinical trial it's a very safe environment you're always able to pull out of it anytime you want that's the good thing about it i mean you're you're not in jail you're not being tied up I mean, if you feel something that might want you to quit the trial, that's fine. You can quit it if you want. You're not obligated to stay on a trial. But if it's benefiting you, stay on it. And actually, I think everybody who comes up with an infection should start off with the attention that I got out of that clinical trial because they 
gave me a lot of love. They gave me a lot of support. Plus my family got involved too. So my family was like, did you take your pills? Did you take your pills? So it, it was a good thing. Years ago, when other procedures came about, somebody else had to do that study to give blood or x-ray or, or take a new drug just to see if this will work. They had to do it. So we're just going along the same route and helping to uh, do the same thing. So if they asked me, should I do it? Yes, I think I would say, yes, you should. <laughs>